What do you think the next huge generational leap will happen next? Well... Man, there's so many ways I can approach this topic. I'm just trying to figure out which train of path I want to follow here. You could approach this... through the lens lens of mainstream tech tubers or through the lens of you know what you're doing right here's why i say that now if you approach it from the lens of mainstream tech tubers, um, then yeah, the 4090 looks significantly more insane than all of the other generations. And they're going to blame NVIDIA selling you software features now, not hardware features. That which is not true at all, right? So here's here's what here's how it goes. Because these guys don't know what the fuck they're doing. So they're kind of like, they're beholden to what the numbers show outside of the box. And what the numbers show out of the box is always going to be contingent on what the competition is doing. Does that make sense? So it, let, me, let me explain. 1080 Ti to 2080 Ti. 30%. Now, what is it actually, though, if you know what you're doing? The reason why I say that is because the uh, default power limit of a 2080 Ti, I think the default clock speed was like... It was like 1,700 megahertz and... God, somebody correct me. It's been so long now. 225 watts? right now when you unlock the power limit on this bitch like you just remove the power limit uh now it goes to 2100 megahertz right so nvidia really they left 2100 divided by 1700 oops really it's uh 54 percent faster what if you know what you're doing and you can shunt mod power mod fucking water block all that shit right yeah that's a fucking huge ass nobody talks about that's why this was so close to the 3080 right now 2080 ti to do you do you count the 30 no you would go 3090 wouldn't you how much faster was that one 40 fucking 49 percent 49 percent now the power mod the power mod for this one wasn't ideal just because of how much power it pulled and how little clock speed you got out of it right but there was another 10 percent in the tank if you didn't give a shit about power limit right now 3090 to 4090 yeah 70% right is that really that different from like is that really the only reason Nvidia gave us this one is because AMD had the 6900 XT which was roughly matching the 3090 in 1080p and 1440p they kind of have the same SM count, CU count, right? So, and, and NVIDIA was like, well, if AMD comes out with another 30 or 40% or something like that, let's just put the nail in the coffin and give the consumer 70. Competition, right? Now, 4090 to 5090, they say... 
it's basically the same situation as this again, right? This They say it was 30%, but it's a lot more. They say this one is 30%, but it's actually a lot more. Um, or or th it theoretically can be a lot more. Because here's how... Just do the math, right? 4090 has 128 SM. Let's say 3 gigahertz, right? 5090 has 170 SM. Let's say 3.3 .3 gigahertz plus 10% IPC on top. Now, now, you might be pulling 900 watts to do it if you shunt mod and all that shit, but we're talking about theoretical, if you know what you're doing, not out of the box performance improvements, right? So 170 divided by 128, that's 32%. So we can, ignore, that's, that's your generational uplift right there, right? So 3,300, oh, that's 10% plus 10%. So yeah. The 5090 theoretically could be 55% faster with no power limit. And if you had a cooler that could dissipate fucking 900 watts or whatever, right? Which I will be doing content on that eventually once I actually get a good 5090 and a good cooler, right? But yeah, it's, it's, it's in line with all the other ones, man. The only reason that the mainstream tech tubers only show 30% on the 5090 is because 575 watt power limit, no overclocking, et cetera, et cetera. What, because what, what look at the, uh, look at the 5080, right? Um, why was I the only guy that gave the 5080 a good review? Because I overclocked that shit. Like, holy shit, th th this architecture is fucking insane. So from Ada, from Ada to Blackwell, the architecture itself is a generational improvement. Absolutely it is. It's just that when you watch unboxed benchmarks and you see 30%. What, so if you watch hardware content, you see 30% more FPS for 30% more money. That's what you see if you listen to those idiots, right? Uh, was it 2,000 divided by 1,600? 25% more money, right? I see 55% more FPS for 25% more money and Gen 5 and uh, the display port and... Uh, and DLSS 4 and frame gen and all that shit. So 55% more FPS and traditional rasterization plus all this shit. Uh, you could argue that you're actually getting more for your dollar than going from a 3090 to a 4090. But you got to power mod it and you got to put a water block on it. And you have to solder a second connector on there so it doesn't melt. You got to, there's a lot of work, but you can do it. You can do it. When I get a 5090, that's just basically going to be a 5090 Ti right out of the gate. I'm going to get another 25% out of that bitch than what you see online, right? When are we going to get generational improvement? We have gotten one every single generation. Only if you know what you're doing. If not, then yeah, you got to wait and watch your unboxed videos. And then you got to make your purchasing. I make my purchasing to back to the whole stock market thing. I don't rely on anybody else to tell me how my shit performs. I'll take the fucking thing apart and mod it. And I'll get it to perform how I want it to perform, right? So there's like, I don't put my hands in the, I don't rely on other people's benchmarks to tell me how my shit's going to perform. You know what I'm saying? Take matters into your own hands. Fucking get that FPS. Do you know what I'm saying? Because if you do, yeah, you've gotten a generational improvement every single time, right? No problems. But no, I, I understand that people don't like voiding their warranties and they don't like. And do you know why 
Now here, now this is the last point to all this. If you know that the 57 or the sorry, the 5090, if you know that that die has another 25% in it, why didn't Nvidia give it to you? Why no XOC models with dual pins and 900 watt power limit? Because no competition. It, if AMD came out with something remotely, why do you think it's all like cut down and shit, man? If AMD came out with something within 20% of the 5090, NVIDIA unlocks that shit tomorrow, 25% more. Tomorrow. Oh, now all of a sudden there's a uh, 5090 Matrix or 5090 Lightning Edition, Godlike Edition with 900 watt power limit and two pins. GG. And they don't even have to sell you a die with more SMs either. They just unlock the power. Yeah. There is a generational improvement in there, man. There is. Of course there is. It's a... Going from a 4090 to a 5090 is quite the insane generational improvement. And it's way more power efficient, too. But... You might have to hire an electrician to put a 20 amp breaker in your wall, right? <laughs> then you gotta pay fucking $1 per day electricity.